Oh, good, you're safe. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Hauntel Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she all right? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we'd cost them everything. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets? Gran wants me to stay out of it, but I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon. But the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us. Who value creatures as much Merlin's as- Merlin's beard! You're a genius! The centaurs! They'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. Off on another adventure, are we? You're here. Good. Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned. I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we've finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't, I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. Now we know we're not alone in here. 
here? Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the team is insect free. Spiders aren't insects. Don't start. Taller than it looks. <laughs> Finding a chest in an inconspicuous lock. Levelio. Brilliant. Watch your step. I nearly slipped there. Read the world of it. all this grass. It no longer feels like a tomb. I've read about catacombs that underwent expansion efforts and ran into problems, often cave ins. And then were abandoned. Exactly. We'll be fine, though. Now this is the sort of grave my to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. There's something here by the altar.
What did you find? Read the world of the I shall sleep at his night. Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced a space beyond the Great Room, which means this can't be a dead end. I have the report if you want to have a look. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperious Curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Look, bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Or, in this case, no bone. This archway has been barricaded if we can find a way through. We're in a tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. You've done it. I knew we'd get through. I felt it in my bones. Nice. 
Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the imperious curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. There we go. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. Another barricade. Rebellion. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. How gracious of you. I try. Worked. Keep going.
You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. Lumos. Lumos! I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. yet. The relic! Look! Could it be? The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea. But we're here for the relic. I'm willing to ignore what the journal says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. This is meant to be. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret, especially from my uncle. Is that ominous? Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing, it was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. You're right. This seems far riskier than Sebastian realizes. Good. We're agreed. We don't allow him to leave here with the relic. I do think we should talk to him, but I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. 
After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. I hope I don't regret this. Sebastian, we're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way, come on. Well, what happened back there? Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you and he'll change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance, that the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. I never wanted to keep all this from Ominous. He just doesn't understand. And I did want to worry him all over again. As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important for Anne. When we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It had only upset her. Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. Feldcroft's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. Those bells glance off of me. Yes. That was an impressive. Oh. 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 Go down that oh. 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 Let me go. Out wide. Oh. 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 Round for our boy. 
Venia. I will hunt you. I'm afraid of noise. You'll not win here. Construction. Be careful. Mine. Incent. Still an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. <laughs> what did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. Repairo. What was he thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Why, Sebastian? Rocks have seen better days.
Lumos. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I met with my uncle I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne well what did he say I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft nor Anne I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister he had no right to banish me from my own twin <sighs> if he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne he's sorely mistaken he also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form and that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne. To reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I'll send you an owl when I have news. <laughs> 